Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up environment to ROI customize Java for Maximo. In this laptop, I have Maximo 761 installed. So I got the environment ready to be used here. I also have the uh, folder for the source file of Maximo, the SMP folder for Maximo 761 here. Put all of the information in it. And I also need to install Eclipse. So I have Eclipse here already. Now I'm gonna uh, start Eclipse. First, I will need to create a new standard Java project and call it Max 761. Okay. And I will choose, yep. So basically, for Maximo 761, then we will need Java 1.8. But if you have Maximo 76, uh, maybe less than 7609 then you will need Java 1.7 and if you have Maximo uh, 1.75 then you need a Java 7.6 in this case I got uh, this version so I'm gonna use a Java 1.8 so I'm just gonna use a standard configuration here yep all right what is it? Uh, forget about it. Okay, I just got an empty project. Now I will need to associate the uh, library, Maximo library, for me to extend. So I want to right click on the project, click properties, and go to the uh, Zephyr build path. So in this case, the uh, Z, uh, IE environment is not linked. So I will need to point this to web sphere as uh, AIE so I'm gonna click edit yep so I'm gonna point it to my web sphere environment yep say so, yeah, it's about 1.8 okay okay now I'm gonna select it okay now I'm gonna add the uh, class folder of the SMP uh, folder so I'm gonna add external class folder Go to my Maximo 761 source folder. Go to Maximo application. Maximo using this object and select the class folder. Okay. I'm gonna rename it to um, take some time to refresh the folder yep so I got everything I need here now I can start uh, writing some uh, Java class file so I can add a package let's call it course and uh, let's say I'm gonna extend some class for the item master application for example so in this case I'm gonna add a package item okay so basically I have done set up the uh, environment to start writing some class now I will start a simple example now in this case I'm gonna log into Maximo I'm gonna open the item master application let's say for example I want to 
change maximum behavior so every time I uh, create a new item for example and then I click on the save button I want to change the description of the newly created item with something else maybe a word like hello word something like that then in order to do that then I will have to write a custom Java class for uh, this uh, item object so what I'm gonna do is if I go to the item object I can see that the item object is associated with this class item set so what I'm have to do is I will have to extend this Java class to change the behavior uh, so that's what I'm gonna do here with Eclipse so I'm gonna add a Java class for that so I'm gonna call it item set then usually you will have to create four different classes as a standard practice so that's what I'm gonna do uh, the structure of the classes that you need to extend is uh, not the purpose of this tutorial so I'm gonna pass that and you can look it up on uh, as the internet there are many sources to uh, explain on the detail on how you can extend Java class for maximum so in this case I'm gonna just do a very quick implementation so I'm gonna have uh, a class item set and extend some new interface here so uh, item uh, some interface uh, create a new interface did something really wrong here so I have to wow that's a lot of that's <laughs> okay now going back to item set extend item set in the line. oh I did it really wrong here yep okay that's good yep so that's basically what we have uh, for classes, two classes and two interface. Now uh, for the new extended custom class here to work, then I have to override the uh, get MU instant method. So I will do it right here. Um, 
get mbo instant okay yeah that's it now going back to my requirement initially i would want to have like when every time i create a new item and click on save it will override the description and write with a something here so in order to do that i have to uh, extend the uh, save method of the item class so i'm go to the item here and then we'll override the save method yep so when i will keep this line to preserve the uh, standard behavior and then i will write description with the word yeah so that's it i have extended the class and have uh, some code written here so it will be automatically built so i will go to the uh, folder of this project let me yep i know where it is so So Eclipse have automatically built this class file for me. So what I've got to do is uh, before I can deploy this uh, this class to the uh, web sphere, I will need to open the web sphere folder and go to the install app. Go to profile. Yep, install app. Cell, then I got maximum 761 here. Yep, so what I'm gonna do in this case because this is a development environment, so I'm gonna do a, a quick deployment path. Generally, for a production environment, then you will have to copy the uh, class file into the SMP folder and then rebuild maximum E file and then deploy the E file into the uh, web sphere. But in this case, this is a uh, development environment, so I'm gonna do a quick deployment method. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stop the Maximo server. I'm gonna stop it. Yep. Then I'm gonna extract this uh, Maximo. Uh, business objects the file into a folder so that's what I'm gonna do so while we're waiting for that let me quickly show you how to do a standard uh, deployment process so in this case I'm gonna need to copy the five So to do the standard deployment process, then we need to copy this custom file into the business object folder. Let's copy it here. And then we have to do the standard deployment process. So with Maximo 7.6, then uh, there's a quick way to do it. Uh, we can Google it. Yep, so there are plenty of uh, sources on IBM website to give you instruction on how to do a standard deployment process. 
should still take some time to uh, extract the five so I will just open one of these Okay, now I'm gonna delete this file. I'm gonna change this to what's that? Yep, so I'm gonna copy the uh, custom files into this folder, and that's it. Now, all I have to do is to restart the Maximo server. So going back to my Maximo environment, I'm going to need to log in. Yep. So after I have deployed my custom Java class, I will have to make Maximo know that I want to use the new files instead of the standard files. So I will open database configuration, open the item object. Yep. And then I'm going to change the class 5 to use my new custom class. Now I will need to apply the new change the new chains
I think it should be finished now. So let's go back to the item master application. And I'm gonna create a new item. Click on save. And you can see we have the hello world here. So that's it for this video. Thank you for watching.